everyone, so long time no see. I know I actually think that this has probably been the longest break I've had from YouTube in a very, very long time. Um, and I want to start off by saying that I've absolutely hated every minute of it because I've missed being on here so much. Um, and I've missed reading your comments, I've missed editing, I've missed filming, I've missed all of it so, so much. Um, so I'm really, really happy to be doing this. I've actually, um, <laughs> this was the first opportunity I had to film since we've moved in due to various reasons and I will kind of fill you in on all of that as well. Um, it's actually like four o'clock now. I've had, well, I've been out since about nine o'clock this morning running errands. We came home, had some food quickly and then we had a plumber come and have a look at one of the problems that we were having here and um, he's just left. So I came up and decided to film. Now, I want to just um, say as well, if you don't like this setup or whatever, it's not necessarily going to stay like this. Well, it's definitely not going to stay like this because I have actually got some wardrobes that are due to arrive um, tomorrow. I'll fill, I'll fill you in on that story a little bit as well in a minute. Um, so don't don't worry about that. And if the lighting's not quite right or anything like that, I apologise. Um, I'm just looking in the viewfinder now, but I'm not sure kind of if it looks... Looks like, it looks okay to me, so we'll, we'll see about that. Um, but I um, just, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I really, really wanted to film. And I'm filming with natural daylight as well, so I've got a big window in front of me, so hopefully that's okay. And it is very sunny still now, although it's very, very cold today still. Um, so, I, uh, what do I need to update you on? God, I need to update you on everything. So those of you who don't follow me on Instagram and that kind of thing necessarily, um, well, do follow me on there because, you know, why wouldn't you? Um, but I, um, we have moved recently. So I'm not going to say specifically where we lived before, but kind of within the sort of West Sussex area. Um, and we really liked it there. We liked kind of the busyness of everything and we liked where we lived a lot. But a lot of circumstances changed. Um, the company that my boyfriend had worked for for a very long time um, was closing down. So that um, was a major contributing factor. Um, and I um, lived very far away from my family and I always wanted to live a little bit closer, but coming to the decision to move to where we've moved to, which basically is we have moved to Wales. So we live in North Wales. Now I'm not gonna again go into the exact specifics of where for privacy reasons obviously um, but we decided to try and give it a go over here and it has been a very very interesting experience um, I wasn't as I'm on board with it as my boyfriend was because he wanted a change he'd worked in the same place for quite a while I'm just gonna have some of my tea my sister bought me this mug as part of my housewarming present, isn't it cute? Um, yeah, he wanted to kind of have a different lifestyle, a little bit more of a country type of lifestyle. Um, I'm going to move a little bit closer, but I've got some products in front of me because I want to film another video in a minute. That's better, isn't it, there? Now we're a little bit closer to each other. Um, yeah, he was really into it and I wasn't sure because I am very, very much a city girl. Um, I'm not a country kind of girl at all. I like certain things about the country, but I like shops, I like busyness. I, it's just kind of, it's part of who I am. So I was, I, I was very um, apprehensive about that, but I also was trying to think about it in terms of the future, of if we had children, which hopefully, you know, we will one day, um, then it would be nice to be near my family to have help because my boyfriend's family don't live super close to us. Um, and yeah, so we just decided we were gonna do that. And we also have decided that we're gonna give it a go um, in terms of setting up our own business. I'm not gonna say what exactly just yet. Um, I will totally share it with you and share the whole journey with you actually. Um, and I'd love your input on lots of things, but we're still in kind of the early stages yet trying to figure things out so I don't want to jinx it and talk about it too early um, so I hope you don't mind that but um, 
I'm trying to think of like, basically, so we had to pack everything up within a month, which was so, so hard. Like we'd lived in that house for quite a long time. We had so much stuff. We got rid of loads of stuff. We gave loads of stuff to charity and we were just trying to um, do the best we can and things kept going wrong and we kept having all sorts of different problems with things. And then the move itself went okay to a certain point. We had lots of problems with various things and all sorts of um, stuff. You know how it is when you move, everything just, just goes wrong, doesn't it? It's just like that. So we, um, yeah, that, that was a little bit stressful, I'm not gonna lie. The move was really, really stressful and I will be very happy to not move again for a very long time until we can afford to buy our own house. I'm not moving again until we can afford to do that because it was just crazy. Um, and then during the move, my boyfriend has a very kind of weird, rare form of vertigo. Well, it's kind of like a, it's like an imbalance problem that gets triggered by vertigo because he has really bad vertigo and he's got a really bad fear of heights. And on the way, he ended up being triggered by something and had a panic attack. And I wasn't with him because I'd had to go down the day before to sort out some of the paperwork and things like that. So um, we ended up having to like, you know, an ambulance was called and stuff. And it was so, so scary and so stressful and like having to deal with that and being so worried as well and I could hear him like on the phone sort of with the ambulance and having this panic attack and it was so scary honestly it was horrible um I still kind of oh just thinking about it now it really really was really really horrible um so then he wasn't able to drive for a little while um and he's only just sort of started again now so we're seeing how that goes kind of in baby steps which is very difficult for him because he's somebody who really likes to drive um, my tea's gone cold really quick. Although I kind of don't mind it. It's green tea. Um, yeah, so that was very stressful. The house was okay. Um, we've had, you know, a few teething problems in the house and things that need to get fixed, but I'm not going to bore you with those details because it's not very interesting. Um, I will show you bits and bobs of the house. I have shown a few bits and bobs on Instagram. Um, it is a really nice house. It's much bigger than the house we lived in before um even though the rent is a lot cheaper and we're in the process of kind of doing things up and painting and putting things in certain places and redoing some of our furniture and bits and bobs like that so i will show you more of that um in fact where i'm sat filming now wardrobes are going to come from very which brings me on to a whole nother story of very and their awful customer service honestly if you can avoid ordering things from very do because their customer service is the worst i've come across because they just will literally repeatedly tell you they don't know the answer to where your order is. That's all I've been told, so that was fun. Um, and we've also had a lot of internet problems. Now this is something that is stressing me out a lot because we were told that we were gonna get awesome internet um, by BT and then that turned out to actually not be the case. On the day it was supposed to be activated, it wasn't. And then we got told that in fact, the speeds we were promised weren't even available and we couldn't. So the internet we've got now is pretty much the best internet we can get at the moment. And it's very, very bad. It's not the internet that we're used to. Um, I think like we were used to like 76, um, per second and I think we're on about 10 now so yeah that is very difficult and I'm not even sure how I'm going to upload this video I'm going to attempt to upload it today tonight like overnight when we've gone to bed and we don't need to use the internet I'm going to attempt to do it then um, and if it doesn't work then on Friday I'm going to my mum's and she's got better internet so that, um, that will be that'll be what I'll have to do and I'm going to have to work around that and see because I obviously need the internet to be good for YouTube and for like other things and you know you can just about watch Netflix on it and even then it takes it a minute so that is very very difficult. Um, bear with me. What else did I want to tell you? Um, yeah the whole country thing like I said there's bits that I like about it I'm still kind of adjusting to it. Um, there's a lot of things as well that you don't realise that it, very different. So for example, um, obviously in North Wales, most of the population do actually speak Welsh. I can't speak a word of it. I can speak English and I can speak Hebrew. Um, and my boyfriend can speak English and a little bit of Maltese. He can't speak a word of Welsh either. Um, and I think it's, it's 
that type of sort of place where people assume that you can so they just speak to you in it and then you have to have this kind of awkward moment of having to be like sorry like could you say that in English um or just sort of explaining that you can't speak Welsh and it's just that's that's a little bit awkward um and it it's different like it's, it's weird it's different things like people drive really slow in the country like so much slower than we're used to and it's weird um but the people are very, very nice. Everyone's very, very friendly and lovely. So that is something that I um that it has been really nice because I didn't necessarily think that in terms of um of all that kind of thing. Um in terms of friends and that kind of thing as well. Obviously we know my family here and things like that, but we don't know that many people. So that will be just a case of starting again, which you know will be fine. Um but I do, I do miss like, I do miss my friends. And to be honest, like I haven't been at work for three weeks now since we've moved because we've just been sorting everything out and we're trying to set the business up and things like that. I do think I am gonna try and find a job for a little while just until everything everything's done because I really, really hate not being at work. Um, I, I don't like being at home all the time. Um, I like to have something to do. So I definitely think that that is something that I'm going to look into. Um, and I I miss like having colleagues and sort of chatting to people and that kind of thing as well. So yeah um and I, I do miss all my previous work friends because i liked all of them a lot um and i miss our chats and that kind of thing but i, I we're, i'm adjusting to it still it's very very different um and i'm kind of i'm adjusting to what what's going on and i think that in the long run this like will be a good decision and things will turn around and we needed a change we really did need a change of scenery and it's so pretty here, um, and it, it, you know, at the beginning everything's weird and then it sorts itself out, doesn't it? So, yeah, we shall see. But I think that's everything for the update video, I think, yeah. Um, I have missed you all so, so much. I can't wait to read all of your comments and I want you to let me know what you've been up to and what's been going on and stuff like that because I've really, really missed reading your comments. I'm really looking forward to um, hearing from all of you. And um, yeah, there's been all the new changes on YouTube and things like that, which won't affect this channel. Um, but nonetheless, you know, like because everything's changing now, I really do appreciate those of you who watch and I would appreciate any likes and shares and comments and everything like that so please um, don't hesitate to do that if you're enjoying what you're watching and don't forget to turn on the notifications bell as well so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video as well so that you don't miss anything because I know that's been a bit of a recurring issue on YouTube lately so yeah I um, will chat to you soon in the comments and I hope you all are having a great great week and I will see you all in my next video feels very good saying that bye